Good morning traders, this is Bruce at VeloxPro. If you can hear me and see my screen, just type yes in the questions. All right, good morning. All right, good morning guys. All right, yep, thank you. Okay, let's get started. Um, saw some interesting stuff yesterday in the uh, in the oil uh, and we'll, uh, we'll take a look again uh, today at oil. Uh, there's just a, a few things I wanna cover. Um, and uh, let's, let's jump in here. Uh, learning order flow with bookmap. Uh, risk disclaimer trading futures involve substantial risk of loss is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. More information at bookmap.com. Become a member there and you have access to a lot of the free resources. And then reach out to us at support at veloxpro.com with any uh, uh, issues or comments or suggestions. Um, let me show you where the recorded webinars are. Okay, it's um, uh, in the portal page here, when you uh, become a member, um, you can uh, click on the education tab here uh, and um, you can see the video snippets are here and the recorded webinars are one below it. So open that up here and then click on the, um, uh, for the playlist here and that'll take you to the YouTube channel. Okay, so we're doing a little differently now as you can see. Uh, and um, uh, let's see, you'll, you will need to scroll up here for a moment until we get this uh, link to go to the newest feed here. Uh, so here's yesterday's uh, at the top here, okay? And the playlist, playlist is on the right-hand side here. All right, um, and you can see that you have access to all of them here, uh, all of recorded webinars. Okay, uh, next week uh, we have a, um, uh, a pro trader webinar series. So we have uh, professional traders come in and they will be presenting at this time next week. Okay, so uh, register, register for that. You can click here on the um, uh, button uh, for register for webinars. It'll take you to the register page here. And uh, you can uh, click on the drop down and then select here, uh, Pro Trader Webinar Series, and then register for it. Okay. Uh, and uh, if you want to give Bookmap a try, this is where you can find it. It's under that pricing tab. Um, you get it for a 14 day trial period for either basic or advanced. Um, and um, no, I think the, you, no matter which one you sign up for, you will get the, the advanced, I believe, for the, uh, for the trial. Um, and um, you, the, the difference between the two uh, is, uh, or are these uh, add-ons right here. And, and probably the most important one is the uh, ability to trade right from the chart uh, in Bookmap, okay? All right, okay, so we're gonna take a look at the order flow. We're gonna look at book map, uh, but we're gonna first look at our macro view uh, and integrate that with the micro structure, okay, and the order flow. Uh, it's a, a very, very powerful way of um, uh, utilizing uh, book map and, uh, and the order flow uh, that'll allow you to, uh, to pinpoint your entries and your, and your exits, okay? So we'll, we'll uh, look at our higher time frames and then we'll jump into to book map and look at the order flow. All right, so let's let's uh, go ahead and uh, look at oil. Uh, we can see um, has some pretty interesting price action in the, in the S and P at the moment. But um, let's uh, let's continue on with oil, uh, just because I, I'd, I'd like to cover um, some of the things that we saw yesterday. All right, so we saw spoofing type of action yesterday, uh, and um, that was good. Uh, and it also uh, we can see that uh, here is the um, let's see. Okay, 9.30, 10.30, okay, so 11.30. So it, it was right around this area here uh, in, uh, in oil, and, um, and we can see that, that we did make a, a, a little bit lower low here uh, at one uh, in the afternoon, and that was it though. Um, you know, it was, um, obviously this is FOMC uh, at two, uh, but um, they were, we, could, we noticed here, uh, larger players positioning themselves, okay? Uh, and, and this is what um, uh, is important here. This using book map gave us insight to that, okay? Uh, uh, and you can, we can see this, obviously this big uh, candle here uh, at 1030 and the, the rejection out of that area and traded right back into the range. And uh, so we know that there's a lot of buyers down here. Right. And that was supported all day yesterday. So now we'll see, you know, if price is going to come down into that area now, uh, maybe uh, we will, um, uh, we want to take a look and see if buyers are, are still interested. 
all right? Um, Homero, I took a look at the um, uh, the volumes uh, and uh, still noticed that the uh, the CL uh, it was just switching it's just switching over so I, I don't know maybe it switched uh, over to the new contract on the last hour or so but um, at the time I looked at it we're still on the J contract right uh, for April um, okay but uh, yeah, you're welcome. Um, I, I do want to show show you. Or we'll, we'll continue on uh, like yesterday. You can see that uh, this is rollover period right away in Bookmap, right? You can see because really, when you see this kind of high liquidity very close to uh, the you know current price uh, all the time, I mean they're getting in and out and rolling over. Um, so uh, we can we can see it right here. Uh, which is a really nice thing to, to see in Bookmap as well. It just confirms how these markets operate. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go into a five-minute chart and uh, look at some other levels of interest here. Okay. All right. Okay, we have a, a trending day down so far, as you can see. Let me zoom, zoom out a little bit here. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to shift this line to here for now. Okay. All right. And uh have another line I'd like to put here. Okay. All right. And we can see I mean you, you see what I'm looking at. I'm just, you know, we're looking at um uh, basically some of the volume the profiles in my in my head in a sense here uh, because I, I know that there's going to be volume that traded down below a lot of volume uh, that traded as we can see it right here uh, all of this trading activity and then a quick break of that area and that's where they're buying again uh, for the moment okay uh, and we're coming back down to test that area Okay, so that's, uh, you know, this is going to be an interesting area to see if we, uh, are the buyers still interested in supporting price above this, uh, um, you know, a, a lot of volume that traded here uh, yesterday. All right, that's a, a big question. So uh, we'll take a look at, at book map and see what uh, what goes on. Now, if we get a break of that area, maybe we're going to get another uh, distribution uh, in the uh, in the volume profile. And, and uh, or maybe we'll see the you know maybe we'll breach the low briefly and then trade right back up into the range and start to accept in this area. Uh, whatever the case may be, we're just kind of outlining the macro view, uh, having some scenarios in our head of how this might unfold, uh, and looking at our levels of interest here. All right, so now let's uh, take a look at book map and let's zoom out. Okay. And uh, pretty messy here. All right. Uh, I don't have the 9 a.m. open. I'm, I opened up Bookmap um, uh, around 9.15, I think, or so. Um, no, 9.30. Um, so uh, I don't have that data. Uh, but uh, we can see what's going on here. Um, you can see the trending to the downside here into that 48.60 level. A lot of volume traded here, as we can see. Uh, and then we see the retest here. And uh, we don't see a lot of volume trading uh, down in this area. All right. Uh, and uh, I, the limit order book in this area is not really telling me too much. Uh, I don't see really aggressive uh, uh, traders here on the bid, uh, you know, very close here um, or uh, supporting price at higher levels. Not until here. And they, and they just, just got tested. But, um, yeah, you know, th this move to the upside, that would, that would be kind of hard to... Um, uh, to read or or uh, look or understand here in the order flow. Um, uh, this this though is indicative of um, uh, you know we can see the massive volume trades down below this level here and trades right back up into uh, the um, uh, distribution that you can see here on our on our column, okay, uh, our uh, SVP or or CVP column. So basically, uh, this is. Uh, an important level right here okay I would even say maybe even here uh, because price has not accepted down below that area so we're, we're just testing it now so uh, we got some maybe some good stuff ahead of us here 
All right. And I think we're going to test it, and, uh, and I think we're going to trade through it. And, and why do I say that? Um, uh, although we have high liquidity here, 155 contracts, we see nice cluster of volume trade here, right? I'm looking for them to uh, hit the bid more aggressively now uh, as well. Let's get uh, one more big push here. Okay, just looking at the transactions and where they're trading, uh, we, we're still in price structure. It hasn't broken quite yet. I'm um, starting to see a little bit of uh, volume trade here, uh, just at this uh, higher level right in here, around uh, 72 or so. Uh, but um, uh, And then this little retest in this area here, though, we can see some exhaustion. Uh, not too much uh, aggressive trading here. Right? So I'm still looking for a push down below this area. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, let me go back to the presentation. And um, so we're showing up to this auction. Uh, and um, when you, it's just like uh, any other market that you're going to, uh, you want to know what price is, uh, what the supply, what the demand is, uh, where are people uh, willing to pay. Uh, so, um, in, a, in an auction, uh, you, you can see that uh, if there's a lot of uh, people willing to buy at a specific area or sell at a specific area, uh, and you can uh, you can see the paddles going up or their hands going up, and there's a lot of uh, noise and a lot of activity, uh, and we can witness that here in Bookmap, right? So that's the first question here when we show up to this auction and understand the current configuration of the book. Where are the majority of the participants? Okay. Uh, and we read that by the um, uh, the order flow here, okay? The uh, or I'm sorry, the uh, liquidity. Okay. So let's zoom in a little bit and uh, let's answer that first question: uh, Where are the majority of the of the traders lining up to trade? Okay. Provide liquidity, and we can see it very clearly here: 100, 200 contracts here, uh, and they're pulling though. They're adding and pulling in. And then and then we're we're gearing up for this battle here. Uh, because there's also high liquidity here uh, that just pulled, okay, and now they're at 72. Okay, so uh, uh, both sides here, but they also pulled down here. Now there's 89 contracts at this uh, 65 level. So uh, some some big changes, uh, just very very quickly, okay, in the auction. Uh, let me adjust this for five ticks. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Um, uh, Terry, if uh, you don't have um, uh, audio, um, you might want to log out and then uh, log back in. Uh, I, I believe everyone else can hear me uh, right now. You have it now. Okay, great. Okay. All right. Okay, so what's, what's occurring now? All right, so we didn't get our push, right? I thought we would uh, based on this uh, cluster of volume. And then look at the transactions right in this area right here, okay? We're not getting that. Look at, look at the, uh, I'm gonna zoom in here. Um, and uh, look, at, look at the volume trading down here. The sellers, is, it just dried up, right? And look at these little points right here in this area uh, as well. Uh, none, there's no volume at all. Right? So instead of more volume trading at these lower lows and breaking through this area, that didn't happen. In fact, we're seeing a flip here. Now we see them uh, lifting the offer with aggressive volume. All right? So uh, uh, more volume trading at these higher levels up here. Okay? So I'm looking for uh, now, I, I, I'm, I'm going to switch it over. I'm looking for uh, a price to maybe come up and, and test uh, uh, maybe this 4880 level. Okay. Now we need we need to see. I mean, this this battle's not over yet, right? I mean, these guys might they might pull their liquidity at 70, and we might get our retest here. But uh, so far, uh, I, I'm starting to see um, uh, a change, and I'm looking for uh, 48.80 now. Okay, uh, just based on the um, the way that uh, uh, the volume is starting to trade up here, uh, noticing these little points of exhaustion down here, uh, and um, uh, also, they're getting aggressive here uh, on the uh, on the bid, and uh, they're providing higher liquidity here, right? 157 contracts, okay, 119, 100 contracts. 
and there's 119 here, we're in a really tight range here. So something's going to break, right? Uh, and um, uh, we're going to watch it unfold here. Okay, so we identified our higher time frame. This is a pretty important level, around 65 or 64. Uh, and uh, we're, we're reading the book and reading the auction uh, and the transactions. All right, here we go. Here come the aggressive buyers. Okay, and let's see the follow through. We want to see them continue to lift the offer here. Okay, I want to see the, I also want to see these uh, uh, 116, 117 contracts here at 75 pull. Okay, I want to see them pull to a higher level, right? Uh, that, that they're, they're not interested in selling at this level. They want to sell at higher levels. Okay. 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 So now let's go over another concept, and this is this is a a a, a bigger um, picture. Uh, uh, concept of uh, looking at the order flow and that's looking at the price structure here uh, just some very simple stuff uh, but um, uh, let's uh, take a, uh, a trend line here okay uh, we're actually trending right into that trend line right now okay uh, but I want to continue on and I'm going to draw another one here okay and this is what I want to show uh, it's more micro structural because the bigger trend line is up here right and we're, we're just trading into that right now um, but uh, this is the order flow we were um, uh, starting to uh, cover uh, was this this area here, right from 11:05 uh, to this uh, around um, you know 11:12 or so, right? And we we're noticing the uh, uh, the exhaustion here uh, at 66, uh, very little um, aggressive uh, uh, sell activity here um, at uh, at 66. All right, and then we started to note them uh, lift the offer here, and they're starting to um, uh, trade uh, at these higher levels. We broke the price structure here, okay. And what do I mean by that? Uh, let's take a look. Okay, right here, right. This is a swing uh, in that price up at this um, <coughs> at this uh, 71 level. <coughs> okay, and uh, we broke through it. Okay, we came back down, and it didn't accept. Uh, but then we broke through it here again, and uh, now price is, and we see a nice cluster of volume trade up here. Okay, so uh, uh, that's why uh, we started to witness that here in the microstructure, right? And we started. I, I flipped my decision. I, originally, I was looking for that uh, to to come down here and trade through, based on uh, all these transactions that we saw. Uh, but uh, we're seeing that flip right in this area right here. All right. Okay, and we covered that in real time. Uh, and uh, then I was looking for 4880. Okay, we still haven't gotten there yet, but we're we're a couple ticks away from it. Okay, uh, and um, looking for something kind of dramatic to to take place. And it wasn't a very dramatic move, uh, but uh, it did break above our 71 level here. And we can see that's now where they we have 128 contracts here at 71. Okay, so. Um, uh, we'll see if they're they're still interested in trading or not here at 71. Okay, where are the buyers? Right, that's the that's the question here. You know, are they they were here before uh, in this area as we can see? Do they want a support price? Is this a a chance for them to get in at a deal at this area? Well, let let let's watch. I see nothing but selling so far. Okay. Anyway, this concept of the uh, price structure uh, mixes very nicely with the order flow. Okay. Understanding that order flow. Okay. So we're now we're seeing another flip in the order flow here. I mean, we're all over the place here, right? This was this was the, that 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 important area because this is where they were buying before. Right, and we just saw a flip of the book here. You know, I mean, this is a this is really trappy, trappy type of stuff. Um, you know, we we uh, we broke above that structure, uh, and then um, 
uh, and now we're breaking down from a microstructure here at 71. Okay, right back down into our 66 level. Okay, so th those buyers, they did not show up again, right? And in fact, the um, our, our other trend line that you can see here, uh, we broke it, but it did not accept above it, right? We came right back down. Okay, now I think we're probably going to get our push here through our uh, our 64 level, 65, 64. All right. Let's see. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Okay, 163 contracts here at 70. Okay, now 114. And we still got 200 at 65 though, so they, they're still interested here at 65. So they're really back and forth. But nice, nice cluster of volume here um, can lead to the price discovery to the to the downside, right? We're looking for volume and acceptance at levels, okay? And that's just reading reading the tape here. Uh, let's see. Let's get to some questions. Um, is this a skew with a book at node at thirty eight sixty five? 48.65, yeah. Um, um, yeah, I mean, there's there's your skew of the book. It's, it's a good example. I mean, very aggressive orders here, okay? And let's just make my column a little bit bigger so you guys can see it, okay? Now they're starting to pull, though. Now, now, now the skew of the book is at 70, Okay, this is what I mean by the skew of the book. Now they're flipping over, right? They're still here at 65. There's no question about it, right? And our large lot tracker is showing that one uh, individual uh, trader is, is primarily responsible for the majority of that liquidity here. Okay, and uh, they're battling it out. There's uh, someone, a large lot trader up here. This is why we're, we, this is, it's a, um, I mean, we can see the liquidity in this market. Right, you know, we're looking at um, at tens of contracts here, and in some cases, at very high levels, we're looking at hundreds of contracts, but not not much more than a hundred, right? Um, so a larger player can skew the book really easily here, and that's why you get a lot of volatility in these these thinner markets like this. Okay, so uh, in in volatility or thinner markets can be harder to read. Okay, you get a lot more. Uh, uh, back and forth. Now they they move really nicely as well, uh, but that's that's indicative of a of a more volatile market, um, and also of less liquidity, right? Uh, but uh, yeah, they're still interested here at 65. There's you know we can still see them continue to come into the book here, right? Uh, we'll, we'll see though. I I still think we have the potential here to break, uh, and we'll see these guys probably flip out, and we'll we'll see these guys at 70 here. With their high liquidity, they'll come down and they'll cap uh, maybe the um, uh, the area here at 65 and uh, and and lower their offer. Okay, here here we go. All right, so uh, here comes the break. Let, let's see if we uh, see some follow through here. Okay, some nice transactions taking place here. Uh, we're down below 65. There we go. There we go. There's our break. All right. That's what we're looking for. Now let's see if these guys at 70 uh, flip over, right? And uh, maybe they bring they bring their liquidity down to uh, to 65 here. All right, there's our nice break. That's what we're looking for. All right. Um, let's see. Let's get to a few more questions. Um, so Judy, any any questions on that in the skew of the book and and, and understanding. Uh, I mean, we can see now. Look at the book. You know, they're down here at 50, and that's a whole number, right? This is going to be an important number, right? We always, usually, there's there's high liquidity at these uh, 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 big figures, like uh, you know, 48 even or, or 48.50. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, 53 first. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, right here, 194 contracts. Um, but um, uh, now, and, and this is that, that difference between, um, uh, you know, aggressive and passive li liquidity, right, uh, or limit orders. 
uh, th these are pretty passive right down here at 50. Okay, they're pretty far away from the market. Okay, these guys right here are really aggressive because they're they're very close to the market, and that's why this area here that we witnessed was really important because they were getting very aggressive uh, and skewing the book uh, very very close to current price, uh, and that has an impact on price as we saw. Okay, and finally we did get our break here. Okay, now the the question is. Uh, uh, getting back to that, you know, we, we just got to return back to where we broke from. And now we're looking to see if we accept or reject. Okay. So uh, are we going to uh, continue to the downside here? Uh, and, um, or are we going to reject all of these guys that, that sold this breakdown here are, are going to be covering if price can come up to the other side of uh, uh, 78 or so up here. And maybe we'll get into the to 80 as well. All right. Um, anyway, uh, some some good stuff. Uh, you know, this, these markets are kind of all over, um, to be honest, all over the place. So so far, we've re uh, we rejected uh, the breakdown here into like this this area here at uh, 57, right? Because we traded back up above our level here that we broke from. Okay. Now we just need to see, you know. Uh, who, who's going to win the battle now? I mean, we, we, we can, uh, uh, if, if we have a lot of volume start to trade at this higher level here, we'll, we'll, we'll explore this area up here right, at 78 and 80. Okay. If not, if, if, we, if the uh, buyers start to dry up and uh, maybe these guys at 70, they start to, to jump right back in okay, with high liquidity. Well, then I'm looking for a retest down, down here, maybe to um, uh, high liquidity here at... Um, uh, 53 that uh, Judy was uh, mentioning earlier. Okay. Yeah, Homero, I don't have a natural gas uh, up uh, on the screen, so um, can't can't cover that one. Um, let's see, Frank, uh, can you explain the toe? Horizontal red and green lines, um, the two, okay. <laughs> uh, the two horizontal uh, red and green lines, uh, book and volume in the upper right-hand corner. Okay, yeah. This is an add-on indicator. Okay, this is part of the advanced book map. Um, the uh, uh, This is showing a book imbalance and a volume imbalance. All right. And, uh, yeah, we got a couple of minutes. I, you know, uh, I'll, I'll cover this because uh, I've been wanting to cover a lot of the... Um, uh, uh, add-on indicators uh, in Bookmap, the Bookmap Advanced version. Uh, we've been getting some questions about it, so let's go over the the book and volume and balances. All right. So the way it works uh, is, um, and it's all under this uh, studies configuration, this microscope icon here, uh, and open that up, and then you can see all the add-ons are here. Okay. So actually, I'm going to take off the book and balance. Uh, at the moment, so it doesn't display up here, uh, and we're just going to go over the volume and balance. Okay, and we can click on that here, and we can see there there is no, there are no settings for it. Right. Um, it, the reason being is it's, it's a very simple calculation of uh, buying and selling volume. Okay, and then and then it displays it as a percentage. Who's winning the battle here? The center line is going to be right here in the middle of of the. Um, uh, volume and balance for the, and you can see that there's just five or four percent, you know, to the negative side. So just to the left of that center line. Okay. So there's a little more selling volume uh, in this chart range right now. So let me cover that. Okay. Because this is an important uh, concept that we we use again and again in Bookmap. This is for the chart range that I can see right now. Okay. So if I start to zoom in now in my chart range. Uh, this volume and balance is being calculated for what what I see. Okay, if I zoom in more, we're going to see a skew, right? Because it's a different calculation. All right. Okay, so uh, that's that. And now let's get into the um, uh, order book and balance. So turn that on, uh, and let's click on this. There are some settings for it, uh, but it's the same thing here. Uh, let me just um, uh, first explain it, and then I'll go through the settings. This is the same calculation that is made for the book imbalance, but what it is calculating 
uh, is not the volume at all, is calculating the liquidity, okay? And it's calculating all levels within this chart range, okay? So right now it's skewed at plus 20, right? Uh, that's because of all of this liquidity that we see down here uh, around the, our 48.50 level, okay? Uh, that's uh, uh, why we see such a, a skew. Um, and um, uh, now if I um, zoom out, like we're going to get a different calculation, right? Okay, so let's, um, let me show you the, the, some of the settings though, because right now it's, it's calculating all this liquidity down here that's pretty passive. Uh, this isn't uh, helping us much. Uh, we want to, you know, maybe maybe you want to uh, look at uh, uh, more aggressive liquidity and and have that um, uh, be more important for you, okay? And and you'll weight that more importantly. So what you can do is you can limit the levels to calculate here, okay? And uh, based on whatever you want, you can uh, uh, let's let's look at maybe eight levels, okay? So eight levels on the offer, eight levels on the bid. And uh, it's making that calculation for the book and balance uh, around price, eight levels on each side. All right, so it's up to you. You can put in whatever you want. Uh, you can also weight these exponentially. Okay, so we have eight levels it's calculating for in total. Okay, we're going to add another filter here, and it will weight the. Um, and let's make this. It's got to be less than eight. Okay, now it's going to make your calculation here. Let's just use three. Okay. Uh, for the first three levels on the offer and on the bid, those first three levels will be um, uh, twice as important in the weighting here for this calculation compared to the next five levels. Okay, so it's a half-life decay rate. Uh, the first whatever uh, 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 figure you have here, that calculation will be twice as important as the remainder of the uh, levels it's calculating. Okay, and uh, and you'll see the um, uh, you know this the filter you know has has a pretty big impact on the uh, on the output here. All right, all right, guys. Well, that's that's about it. Um, we're not getting a lot of uh, decisiveness here uh, in uh, uh, this breakdown. Um, I mean, we we still. Yeah, it's it's really not not too clear. I mean, it, it keeps on uh, going back and forth here, right? So uh, maybe maybe what's uh, what we're going to see uh, instead uh, is um, uh, volume starts to just fill fill in our uh, our volume profile instead of getting our dramatic break like we witnessed here. Uh, we're going to get uh, volume starting to fill in this entire area here, and we're just going to get one big composite uh, in our uh, our volume profile. Okay. Instead of that nice trending day of one distribution, low volume node, followed by another distribution, low volume node, etc. Okay. All right. Yeah, you're welcome, Frank. Yeah, you're welcome, Judy. Okay. I'm glad that was helpful. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah, be be careful. Um, you know, tomorrow is uh, quadruple witching. So you know, we're watching rollovers occur um, and um, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of back and forth, and, and we're seeing that play out here in the order flow, okay? Um, anyway, um, yeah, actually, uh, now look, zooming out a little bit, we're starting to see a nice cluster of volume trade here above, um, you know, above like 63 or so. So uh, maybe we'll get a push back up into, uh, into 70, um, and um, we'll just uh, need to kind of wait and see here, though. Right, but uh, that's looking pretty good at the moment. Just now, now we're looking for those skews in the uh, limit order book here, right? Uh, and uh, and watch what uh, watch what unfolds here. Okay. Oh, good. That that was helpful, uh, Carlos. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, all right. We'll do it again tomorrow. All right. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye, bye.